Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the time period of March 11th to the 31st, 2018. Welcome new subscribers to my channel. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the comments and the compliments as well. Before I begin, I want to apologize for the delay on your reading. Um, <laughs> I have been trying to balance uh, my, my work life external from reading tarot with this. And um, I just want you guys to know that I'm always here for you. Um, I will always be here. <laughs> I'll be here. Um, and even if I'm late sometimes, even if I get busy, I always make sure I have time for you. Okay. I want to make you guys also aware of my community panel, which is located on the main page of my YouTube channel and also my Instagram in terms of staying connected with me um, for anything, you know, feel free for anything <laughs> you can follow. Um, also to keep post up of when new videos will be up. I usually, I was doing, used to do that last year, but I slowed down a little bit, but I'm going to bring that back. Okay. I'm going to bring that back for sure. And, and if you have, if you would like a private reading, as always, you know, where my email is, or if you have, or if you just have general questions, comments, or concerns about anything, um, you know, I'm very open. Feel free to contact me in that case too, as well. Okay. So let's begin. These are legacy tarot cards. Um, I used them last year, um, bringing them back out of hiding. They've been away for a little while. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 11th to 31st, 2018. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see. Aquarius reading was kind of interesting, to be honest. Okay, Gemini. Oh, interesting. You have the Eight of Swords energy here. Um, mm, very interesting. Somebody may be having difficulty with getting pregnant or having a child or wanting to start a family with this energy is the eight of swords um but i was i was saying i was getting something about can't get pregnant but i was also getting this element I and mean, anything is possible i mean this could have been news that you went to the doctor and they told you about but i get your friend your friend could have went to the went to the doctor and they expressed this to you. It could be an Aquarius. Um, it could be some air like another air like energy that you're interacting with. Um, but I get no, it's you. Something's going on with you. This could be your girlfriend. Um, this could be some something maybe going on with your sperm. Uh, you know, just make sure if you you're trying to start a family, make sure you go to the doctor and see what's up because these are very general. It's not going to be for a large number of you, obviously, but um, for somebody that is reaching out to here, there may be a need to see you know check alternatives um but i just get this energy it could be spiritual as well there's this energy where um you just may not be with the right person <laughs> that could be what's going on or you're expressing this to somebody like you're, you're 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 not with the right person you could be telling this to your friend you're not with the right person that's why this is happening this way um somebody needs to change their partner it could be you um but I get this element of leaving fire signs alone, like all of them totally. Um, you may want to, I get you want to go more towards water like energies, the more nurturing, and possibly you want to try earth sign energies to see. But I get you want to see if you be the, the right match for an earth sign. If this is the L, this feeling that I'm getting in terms of having a baby, trying to con having trying to conceive with this kind of energy. So maybe there's a feeling hub here where you may, I get some about hubby as well. You're somebody's hubby, you're becoming somebody's hubby with this kind of feeling. Um, but it, it, you know, you're very spiritual period anyway, but you know that if this is what's happening with your partner, you just need to change the partner. Like somebody may be in a situation, you could have been trying to have children with someone who was, um, they were a bit aggressive with you. Um, I get hammerhead. You you could have been dealing with a hammerhead um, or you're going to an aquarium and you're looking at hammerhead sharks. I don't know what the deal is. Or you're just dealing with a, with a hammerhead. Like they, you know, it could be the fire-like energy. You could be in a situation or it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be any zodiac sign um, with this kind of feeling. But you're dealing with someone who they may have been very aggressive with you. And maybe you, you try, you, you could have been the one forcing the family or your friend was. You could have been the one forcing the family, you know, like I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to settle down. What's taking you so damn long? 
you know, eight of swords. So, and they're like, you know, I'm not ready. <laughs> you know, I'm not ready. Or you tried and maybe you, there's this feeling deep down inside of you, you know, I'm forcing this, you know, I'm forcing, I'm forcing, they're forcing this partnership. There, it, something feels forced. Like it feels forced to be with somebody. Um, but it could be pertaining to somebody's looks. This could also be pertaining to, I get you're trying to please a parent though. Like you're, what you could be with somebody because your parents say so, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, like your parents are like, you, you should just be with this person because they have this job or they have these looks or they make 6k, whatever it is. But you, you know, that that's the, if that's the reason why the, the pregnancy, that could also be, that's why the, something's going on with the pregnancy or trying to get pregnant, um, because it's a forced partnership. You could be saying this about someone external. You're trying to say, you're trying to express this to someone. You could be doing this indirectly to a close family member or friend. They're not listening to you though. This is like, you may be in a situation where you're like, your, your friend is trying to have kids or some ex friend, somebody's trying to have kids with, like I said, wrong person. And you may have been like, you know, get a divorce, <laughs> get a divorce. You know, it's, it's, it's going to change. Get a divorce. This is not going to happen. Get a divorce. But you, they, when they didn't, they didn't listen to you, but I get now they're trapped or you feel trapped with trying to get them to change but again you're taking matters into your own hands to get somebody to get a divorce or to get somebody to leave someone so that they can be with you whatever the situation is here um you may just be uh, the, taking the matters into your own hands in terms of showing up to somebody's door um but be careful of doing this at the wrong time and again i didn't know that she had to work on this day or i didn't know that he had to work on this particular day with this kind of feeling so just be careful of when uh, your hands are full and that could be why like you know somebody may be coming to visit you and that could be why um your hands are full in terms of somebody coming to visit you at the wrong time they, they could be saying this about you like i i didn't they didn't know that you had to work on this particular day etc with this kind of feeling here okay ah <sighs> your starting point has a five of swords um I, you're re refusing to see something uh surrounding a leo like energy or any fire like energy or it could be another air sign energy like yourself um but leo more prominently um some fire sign energy more prominently with this kind of feeling um but it, it can be feelings but i get towards a cancer you could have leo in your chart you could be this person that you're refusing to see but i get that's not they are not the one that you want like if you're looking at a cancer they're not entirely the one that you want or if it's a Leo, they're not entirely the one that they're not entirely the one that a Cancerian wants, vice versa. Here, you're trying to tear that you're trying to tear two people apart, or you're trying to you could be trying to do this mystically. It's, it is your energy. You could be trying to do this mystically through spells. Um, it could be witchcraft. <laughs> you're trying to tear two people apart um, in a mystical way so that you can get I get a hand job so you can get a hand job done, or so you you can you know be more intimate with someone that you want to. Be. You have the liking for someone that belongs to somebody else and you're trying to pull them away from what they're tied to so that you can get what you want sexually. This could be through telepathy. This could also be through some type of incantation with this kind of feeling like hypnosis with this energy. These are things that you practice, but I get it so you can get what you want or so you could turn somebody away from somebody else. It doesn't have to be magical in nature, um, but I get you're reading spell books or you, I get that Aries, somebody's reading spell books keep you bound. Um, you're finding out about these things, but I get underneath shelves or like underneath beds Beds, like underneath beds, like people, are, somebody's hiding these things from you, but it's like underneath things like beds. Um, but I get, I didn't know that, I didn't know that they practiced this. So you could be finding out, finding out that your, your, your partner is a witch or you, your, your partner's finding, I get a new person that you're seeing is finding out something about you. You could be the person hiding the witchy things. Um, or you're the one that's finding out something about your partner and it's some, it's something is scaring the shit out of somebody though. Somebody that you're new person, somebody, you're scaring the shit out of somebody or their partner, like your partner is like, they, like something that they're doing, like it could be it, it's interesting. No. There was something that they're doing is scaring the shit out of you and you want to be done um that you want to be done you don't know how to break this um you may need you may need to uh buy sage you may need to burn uh sage with this kind of energy but i get something about kalaloo uh kalaloo what the hell is kalaloo again shit kalaloo you may want to get some kalaloo uh i don't know if that is that tea 
What the hell is, I forgot what the hell that was. Let me know what it is at Kalaloo. You may want to purchase this thing. Um, but it, Kalaloo, something about it uh, has an agent in it that helps with uh, breaking something. It could be some type of spiritual stuff. Maybe you feel spiritually tied to somebody, somebody, um, or maybe you're using your intuition that a friend external from your partnership is is somebody maybe practicing something to keep them bound in them. Um, and, and you're trying to become close. This could be you're trying to become closer to somebody, but their mother is very mystically inclined or your mother is very mystically inclined or some sibling that they have and somebody doesn't want to see you with somebody and it could be that Aries like somebody doesn't want to see you with a particular person with this five of swords or vice versa you don't want to see somebody with somebody Jesus Christ you're waiting on the queen of swords this is your energy here but I also get a Libra um you could be you could be dealing with Aquarian energies as well too whatever air like all of them <laughs> to be honest I just sometimes instead I, I pick up certain signs but then I just break down and say all the damn signs to be honest you're dealing with this energy or it's you um you could be make, waiting on yourself to make a decision about somebody but I also get another about, about another air like energy and it could be pretending to starting a family with this kind of feeling um it, this could be somebody's giving you options by the swords could be somebody giving you options that maybe you don't want to take the options that are being offered to you for some reason you're being very particular into how you start a family like maybe you want to have a family in a natural way and somebody wants you to be a surrogate or wants you to look into surrogacy um this could be in vitro i, I get i just want to carry i just want to carry my own child like this somebody's is, 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 is sharing this with you your sibling your girlfriend that like, i just want to carry my own child or it's you you're the one that's doing this you're like, I just want to carry my own child. This also be a doctor. Be a slip up, a slip up with a doctor with a queen of swords energy. And somebody slipped up with somebody's new. This could be a nurse. Somebody's new into being a doctor. Somebody's new into being a nurse practitioner, whatever it is. Um, but I get something about spells with the queen of this could be a nurse practitioner that practices spells on the side. But I also get that's how somebody gets their money, or that's how you make your money, or that I get that's how you all make your money. If these are you with other air like energy, your girlfriends, that like these are girls that are friends that it's it's like a trio you know this kind of feels like like um charmed <laughs> this feels like charmed like uh, like three witches like <laughs> three women who are like they, something's going on here with queen of swords energy okay in terms of working you may work with these women i get we're all witchy like you're saying this this could be your friends you know this could be your friends you are this person we're all with you're exposing these things possibly to family members and co-workers that they're like they don't understand it or something with the queen of swords you could be trying to say that you practice something you know in terms of witchcraft or somebody's sharing this with you or you're friends are you don't really understand it or they don't understand your family doesn't understand it i get you i again i want you to leave this lifestyle like somebody's saying this to you or you're this person that's saying this to another air sign or you're saying this to a fire sign or fire sign energy is saying this i get always always i just said just now somebody's trying to get you to leave some type of lifestyle so that you can heal or so you can make your some like your character so you can make your character better or so another element around you can make their character better with the queen of swords energy it's something that you're doing is either helping or it's not helping somebody's aggravated by the advice that you're giving for some reason with the queen of swords they but this this feeling of somebody this somebody is not seeing something that's surrounding them as well and that could be why why they're hard of listening that's why they they're they're taking something that you're saying could be construct, constructive criticism they're taking something that you're saying very seriously into the heart and the head and and they're making it seem like you just don't like them or something. You're being mean, and and they're threatening to reveal something about about you. Or this could be as simple as your sister. Like if you're a dude, your sister, like if or a guy or your brother, your sister is like threatening to reveal something about you that you're trying to keep hidden. But I get some about blowjobs. I was gonna hand jobs as well too. So I'm gonna blow jobs um, with this element, very sexual energy with the Queen of Swords. But I get I saw you do this. I saw you do her. I saw you I, in, in the back of somewhere. It could, it could be in the back of a house, um, in the back of a closet, Queen of Swords energy being here. Somebody saw you tiptoeing around somebody's place. You just wanted to go see somebody. This could be your ex. And your, maybe your ex has started a family, but there's jealousy when an ex starting a family for some reason. And it could be that fire sign or another air sign. Wow. How can you leave me for her? How can you leave me for him? Queen of Swords energy being here. Somebody, this feels like somebody that you were tied to, air like energies or fire sign, whoever, somebody that you were tied to, like they went off and they start a whole new life, whole new family. How could you? This is something that I wanted to do with you, vice versa, whatever it is. You could be the person that did this to them. 
But I also get because you did you did that for a good reason. If that's if that's the, if that's that kind of situation, if it's you, you did it for a good reason, and it has to do with your integrity. Or somebody, you're in a situation here where you're trying to hide magical abilities in the workplace, and maybe you're telling this to your family or friends, or you're telling this to a new group of people, and they don't agree with that. They don't agree with your lifestyle. It doesn't have to be mysticism. They don't agree with that. Don't like it. Don't don't like it. Leave with the five of swords. I'm not changing for you. You could be saying this to a girlfriend. I'm not changing for you. It doesn't have to be mysticism. It could just be the way you live. Somebody may, may be a weed smoker, you know, ganja, <laughs> ganja smoker, five of swords. I don't agree with this. You're dating someone that doesn't agree and you're kind of wishing that you stay with your old partner, but they didn't really want to stay with you, five of swords. I'm not forcing myself to be with somebody who, who wants me to change, you know, vice versa. It's not working out, five of swords. Fire-like energies or air-like energies, all these energies that you're dealing with. And I, but the signs I was picking out particularly were Leo, Aries, Libra, Aquarius energies here that you're dealing with. Five, something about five women. You could be a dude and you did this. This is a five of swords. You could be a dude and these are like five air sign women. But I get in, a, in addition to an Aries or something, in addition to an Aries woman, you were involved with all these. If you're a dude, you're involved. You were involved with five women. These could be the mothers of your. These could be mothers of your children, and maybe you don't want to be with any of them. Well, wow. it's an element here where if you're a dude, you don't want to be with any of these women. If you're a woman, these could be. This could. If you're a woman, these could be five women. I get jealousy with five women. For you get five women that are jealous of you here, and that could be your lifestyle. I get planning to hurt though. Like there's five, there's women that are planning to hurt you. But I get you are one of these. You are one of these five. You're one of these five. I mean, you're you're involved, but you got dragged into being involved with hurting. Uh, it could be a Libra, Queen of Swords energy. But I get she's crazy though with the Queen of Swords. You're crazy. People are saying this about you. Or you're involved with women. You're involved with like other women here on one other or on this Queen of Swords energy. She's external. She could also be external from you or the, and these group of people. This could be a heist. This could be a heist. This could be a group interview that you are one of these five. This energy could be the one that's being schemed out if it's not you. But it also you. You are all, you are that person that is also being schemed out. But I guess it's not fair. It's not fair, though, with the five of swords. You could have joined, like, this could be like a college setting where you join a sorority with the five of swords. But I, didn't, I, I, get, I, didn't, know, I didn't know that they didn't like her. Or I, I, they didn't know, like, I didn't know that they didn't like me. If I was somebody pretending to like you somewhere in a workplace, somebody just wanted something from you. It could be skills, whether you are a man or a woman. Someone just wanted your skills. It could be sex skills. It could be something you do in a workplace, something you do with your hands, if I was swords. Somebody just, somebody's revealing this, though. With this energy being here, it's kind of like, I guess I'm about closing eyes. You want to close, it could be metaphor, or you're literally closing your eyes. This could be needing to wear glasses out of nowhere. That's why I said, I did say you were dealing with a doctor here. This could be, I didn't know, this five of swords could be like, I didn't know I needed glasses. I didn't know she needed glasses. Somebody's, your friend is expressing this to you. But I get, I need to, you're saying I need to see something about a partnership that you're in, five of swords. Wow. Somewhat liking somebody with the five of swords energy being here, okay? You need to see that you like somebody. And maybe you're trying, there's refusal with the fact that you like somebody in the workplace, but I get in your home. You're refusing to see that you actually do like someone that lives with you. But I get an Aquarius rising. There's an Aquarius rising in your home that you're refusing to like for some reason. Hmm. But you don't know how to approach them. Could be something pertaining to mysticism. You don't know how to approach this person. You that's why I said scary energy. Like you're you're scared of something. You don't know how to approach somebody. You feel like they're gonna do something. This could be voodoo or something that somebody practices on the side or they do openly. But it's not you're thinking that maybe it's to hurt somebody or make something happen. It's not. It's somebody just doing something for fun or to help people with the Queen of Swords. This could be, like I said, workplace environment. You may practice something. Some element around you may practice something on the side other than other than working with kids, other than other than construction, other than painting. And you're like scared or something to talk to them. Five of Swords energy being here. How do I approach this person? You could be this person that people, you do something, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be mysticism. You do something that people are afraid to, I guess some of your aura, something's going on with your aura. Could be blue. There's blue all over her. Your something's going on with your aura. 
But I think something about your aura exudes fear to people for some reason, or your aura exudes fear, or people think, I don't know, like it's making people fearful of you. It has something to do with your energy. Like really, you're like, I'm nice. You know, I'm gentle. I'm kind of gonna hurt you, five of swords, but something's going on with your aura. People, there's an element here where people sense fear from you. And it could be this relationship that you're in with an external queen of swords. But again, I like her. You like this energy. If it's not you, you like this energy. Or people like you. Or they're trying to act like they don't like you. Or they're trying to say that it could be they're trying to say that your aura is this way. Your aura actually is this way. This could be like see, like I said, seeing something about yourself. If it's not, if it's not an external energy, maybe you're trying to understand or you're trying to learn about auras. That could be another situation too as well. It could be auras. You're like, how, how, this could be, maybe you're able to see auras. If it's you, you're able to see out auras. Like in your, you, you could be pointing these things out to people and that could be what's scaring them. But it's someone the fire sign, the Leo-like energy. Someone was tired of that. Like you could have been teaching these things or doing this. That it was aggravating somebody for some reason. Well, the, why, like, why didn't you just tell me that you didn't like the way, what I was teaching? This could be in a school. It was not mysticism tied. This could be in a school environment. Someone getting along with in a school environment. You could be taking classes. Someone's trying to act like the way you were, like the way someone's trying to, trying to be, people are trying to be okay with something that you're teaching or they're trying to act like they're okay with something, some, I get way of life. They're trying to act like they're okay with your way of life, but they're not. There's two-faced energy going on here. You could be this person that you're trying to act like, you're, ex, that you're trying to act like it's okay with the way your ex is living or something. But again, I want you back when I said X. You want your ex back. But then you don't. But then you do, but then you don't. Five of Swords. You're not sure. That's why I just did that. You're not sure if you really want somebody back. You're not sure if somebody's going to keep doing the same behavior again. If it's an, an air sign woman, that another air sign woman that you're dealing with. If it's another air sign woman that you're dealing with, then it's a Libra or some. But you're also dealing with Aquarius rising that you like or you take a liking to. All of them could be another Gemini energy. Not, I don't feel another Gemini energy too heavily, but I get a sibling when I said another Gemini energy. Hmm. Your sibling could be pointing out something about you, but I get something about your weight. I'm not going to say it though. It's very hard, heavy. Your sibling is saying something about you. It could be embarrassing, but I get your boss. Your boss could have said something about your weight or your boss said something. Your sibling said something to your boss about you. But I get, I get how do they know each other? Your sibling somehow knows your boss or knows somebody connected to your boss. It's a small world. Like you're saying this, this, this feels like small world energy, but based on what you have going on here, it's small world energy. Your partner, you're trying to understand why your partner doesn't like you anymore. They were manipulated by a mutual friend to leave you or something, five of swords. But it's for a good reason. Like that's one element there that, that may be for a good reason. But you, they're also hiding the truth into how they know each other. It could be Facebook, could be Instagram, it could be mutual shit like that. And you're like, how? That's why you're like, <laughs> how are these people you want to cut off? You know, somebody may have cut you off online for some reason here, pretending to act like they don't see something when there's a mutual friend that's exposing everything about your partnership with the Five of Swords energy being here. Whoo! You're Jesus God. As soon as I pick up this card, I get some about missing. This energy is missing or they're hiding from something. It is a queen of pentacles. It is could be also your energy here. This energy, you could be missing this person. or the, But the, there's an element here where the, they could also be missing. Like They could also be missing. But I'm looking at the queen of swords energy. Somebody's responsible here with the queen of swords. They're responsible for the reason why this energy is missing. Is this is you. This it's another energy around you is, is responsible for why this person is missing. But I get their family. This this energy is missing because they're fam because of family members. Where does she go? Where does she move to? This could be your friend, Queen of Queen of Coins energy. The Five of Swords could kind of be like maybe you are planning to do something with this person or for this person. They could have moved out of nowhere. They could have moved out of nowhere. And, and it's maybe like you show up, you know, you may have showed up to, to a location that you thought they were still at. And you're, you're asking the family or something, where did, where does she go? I didn't know she moved over there. Queen of Swords energy. You're asking yourself questions. And I get some of your intuition, your intuition being off. Hmm. 
But I need somebody to hire with this kind of energy too as well. This could be like you're getting hired, but this is kind of like, this could be the energy where you were supposed, this energy could have been hired, could, could be the one responsible for hiring you. But they dipped out really quickly. It's like you show up to an interview, right? Five of Swords. You show up to an interview and it, it could be like you're waiting on this energy here. You could be waiting on this person, but you're waiting on this queen of coins. And then you're like, did she get back yet? Did she call back yet? This could be someone who, like I said, someone who's trying to hire you. But they're not, that's why I said five of swords. Somebody's not sure about you. But I get advances. Like you're, you're making advances towards this. But I get, oh, you ha also have not seen this energy in a long time. Or you haven't heard from this energy in a long time. You're trying to make advances towards them, vice versa. Somebody does not like you or you don't like them, queen of coins. You like them, but they may not like you very much for some reason. But I get it's because of treatment with the five of swords and the queen of coins. I get, I didn't mean to do this to you. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to cut you off. I didn't mean to treat you this way. So you may be in a situation where you're mystically trying to draw somebody into your attention somehow, or you're trying to mystically have somebody, I get, say something. You're trying to make somebody say something. It could be telepathic communication, you're trying to make somebody say something. But maybe like they're having difficulty with understand what they're hearing. They're having difficulty with trying to understand something that they're hearing about you or something that you're trying to say to them for some reason with the Queen of Coins energy. But I get, is she okay? Like you're, you're trying to understand if this energy is okay. But I also get the Libra. Is the Libra, or is the Libra energy okay? They're not. Like, they're, the Libra-like energy is not okay, but you're trying to see if a Queen of Coins energy is okay. They are. But, but yet you're trying to find them. Like you, you could be trying to find them on Instagram, Facebook, you're trying to find this energy. They could be hard to find. Or they're literally like they're missing. But I get someone a car. They could have gotten into a car. But I get you're hearing about this on the news. This energy got into a car here. They got into a car with the wrong people or with the wrong person with the Queen of Coins energy. But yet, how do I get help for her? Or how do I get to her? Five of Swords. How do I get to this person? You may be dissing somebody else and some other air like energy, somebody you're already, you may be dissing somebody just so that you could be with this person or you're on the outside looking into people. Like it could be five women, five people are, are dissing somebody. Like at the Aquarius, an Aquarian energy is being dissed for some reason. But I get it's because that they're falling in love with this energy, queen of coins. You are that person. You're dissing somebody that you're talking to or seeing, but it's because you're falling in love with this energy. I'm going to have you, queen of coins. You're saying, I'm going to have this energy. You're going to have this person. Somebody thinks you're crazy for doing this or feeling this way, though. But there's also these elements here where, where your family or your friends or whoever can't understand why you want to like you like somebody. They can't understand this. They can't understand it. If this is a workplace environment, this could be pretending to your work. Like I said, that people can't understand how you're doing something or people can't understand why you're into some type of particular work. But I also get something about your hands that people don't understand what you're doing with your hands with the five of swords or people don't understand what somebody's doing with their hands, like something, but in their mind or something with the queen of coins energy. Something's magical about this person. They're making something happen magically. You're that person. If this could be your energy, you're making things happen magically, but it has something to do with their self-esteem or has something to do with yours. Both it has something to do with your self-esteem and, and, and theirs. But I, I get combined, we will make things we will make things great with this Queen of Coins. Together, we will make things great. Queen of Coins energy. I get leave the air signs alone or something. Like leave the air like energies alone. They're making the air like energies and the Aries, they're making matters very difficult for you. And they're trying to stop you from focusing on this person. And they're trying to do it in a mystical way. You're you went through a period of time and like, why, why I haven't been hearing from this person? Somebody was doing something, but it's about blocks. This energy was blocked, but it's like, maybe, oh, if you're a dude, your ex girl, like whoever your wife, queen of swords. And again, I didn't know she did that. I didn't know she got, how did she get into my phone? How did she get into my email? How did she get into my shit? I thought I had the passwords. Somebody found a way to, to like get into your passwords and change them. I get something about that Leo as well. This doesn't have to be an air sign woman. This could be, there's a, a Leo is jealous of this energy. And maybe you didn't know that, or maybe you did, or you're finding out about that. Or this Queen of Quinnacles may have been jealous of an air, like of, of your partner, your Leo, or some air sign. But I didn't know that's not true. They were jealous of this person. 
But again, that's why you haven't been hearing from this person or that's why you were cut off. Somebody deleted them for you. Or they did, deleted you themselves with the queen of coins. But again, no, your girlfriend did it. Your girlfriend, your girlfriend, this is the energy here where your, your girlfriend, you could be in a workplace and you, if you're a dude, you're in a workplace environment, and it's kind of like maybe you you befriended your um you befriended your very pretty and attractive coworker or something, but your girlfriend is kind of like you know who, who the hell is this? Your girlfriend goes into your phone, your girlfriend goes on your Facebook page and finds this person profile and deletes it. And you're like ah that's what happened, Queen of Coins. You thought somebody was following you the whole time. They either cut you cut you off voluntarily and you're trying to get them back. Then people are like, what the hell are you doing? Or the situation here where they, where your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mommy, somebody, some jealous uh, a girlfriend or boyfriend that you're tied to went into your phone and, and, and did it for you. And again, I didn't ask you to do that with the queen of coins. I didn't ask you to cut her off. I didn't ask you to cut him off. I, if I was ready, if I wanted to do that myself, I would have did it. Queen of coins energy. Wow. I get a very aggressive girlfriend. You have a very aggressive girlfriend, whether they whether they are sexually involved with you or not. Your girl is a friend. Very aggressive. Doesn't want you to see you. Doesn't want you to hang out with this energy for some reason. She's too pretty. Like somebody is saying she's too pretty or something. I don't want you around her. Like somebody is sub subconsciously feeling this way and they're not exp they're not saying that to you. Wow. That's interesting. Your future, your boyfriend could be trying to stop you from hanging out with some. You know what this feels like as well, too? Um, if you are a woman, you're tied to a dude, for example, or and there's this feeling here, but you you're trying to act like you really want to see this energy. Like you're acting like you really want to see them. But there's this feeling of you don't want your boyfriend, if you're a woman, you don't want your boyfriend to look at them or 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 or, or flirt with them or something. There's something going on there with insecurity within you. Or within this, I don't feel like it's this energy. I feel like this energy is kind of like, they're like the sun. Like they, there's gravitation with this person. People are gravitating to them and it's creating jealousy or something. Like you don't want, there's something going on here with popularity and, and, and doing subconsciously, trying to do better than another air sign or trying to do better than, than an earth-like energy. Could be both ways. These could be women that you work with. You could be trying to compete with them. They're trying to compete with you. But I, I also get on the outside looking in to this energy is competing with an air-like energy, another air sign energy. Wow. Who's better than who? This could be in the workplace environment. This could be like you're going to, this could be a show that you're looking at and you're comparing dancers or something. Simple as that. You have the six of cups in the future. Six of Cups in the future, but I get you want to have a family. Um, that guy said from the beginning with channeling, being with the right person. That's why that's why you're going through this battle right now with yourself with these women. If you're a dude, you're like you know, you already know who you should you who you belong with, who you should be with. They're right in front of you. They're in your present. They're right in front of you. You belong together, like Mariah Carey. We belong together with the Queen of Coins. But you don't know how to get to this person. They're missing, or you miss them. Or you show up somewhere and, and your their family is like, oh, she moved, they moved. Could be a part of New York City. <laughs> it could be somewhere in the United States. You're gonna get to them. You're gonna find a way to get to them, the Queen of Coins. There is an element of surprise here with the Six of Cups being here. You want a family with them. Could be a metaphoric family. You wanna work with this. You wanna hire them. You wanna work together. But what you keep saying to yourself, we're a good team. This energy is a good team for you. But they're not seeing that, or your family isn't seeing that, or a current boyfriend or girlfriend isn't seeing that. And then when I said that, I get I don't understand. Like somebody doesn't understand here why you like this person so much. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that could be something that you uphold. Your dude, woman, whatever. This could be friends. It could be friend group situation, a hiring scenario. Whatever the situation is here. Your instincts has the two of wands. You need patience to deal with fire-like energies. And it could be jealousy. It could be any fire-like energy here. It could be jealousy. But I get your ex is jealous of you trying to get to this person. Your ex is jealous or something. But I get I don't want to see you with her or him with the two of wands. It's a woman, though. I don't want to see you with her. Your, your boyfriend, your current boyfriend, your lover. I don't want to see you with her. But it has to do with working together. Somebody doesn't want, it's, like I said, very pretty or some very attractive person you're trying to work with. Mm. But your boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't want, the, you could be an assistant to you and you're trying to, this could be a situation you're trying to invite this assistant over. But your girlfriend is like, no, we have somewhere to go. 
They could have showed up to your place. They could have showed up to your job and a very jealous, like some, this could be a coworker that likes somebody that your coworker could like you. And this energy is trying to, I get set up an appointment, uh, I set up an appointment with you. And your coworker tells them that, that you're not, that you're not uh, here or something that you went out for lunch. And they're like, no, they, no, they, you're like, no, they, no, I didn't. They're just trying to protect their feelings because they know you like this person, vice versa. Hmm. Your accomplishment has the king, the knight of swords energy being here. Nine of swords next to the five of swords. It's like you're trying to reveal something. But I get time. You're trying to reveal, reveal something on time before it's too late. I get before someone leaves. So, so it could, you could be at work and somebody's coming to visit you. But I, get, I didn't know she came by. You, somebody showed up. That's why I said somebody showed up somewhere. You didn't know she came by. But I get who brought her here. Like somebody's coming to visit you and you're like, do they drive? Did they take the train? Did they play? They fly? How the hell did she get here? Or there? Wherever? I'm trying to find this person, vice versa, to hire them. They moved. You're this is your friend you haven't seen in a while. You 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 want to hang out with them? Your boyfriend is like no. But I guess because somebody has, like I said, witchiness going on or something. Your spiritual self has a six of swords here. You're releasing something. Could be you're releasing an air like energy. I guess somebody is not as good as this person or vice versa. But the air sign, there's another air like energy that isn't as good as this queen of coins. But I get they're both good, but she's better. This energy is better at doing something. And it could be, you, like I said, hiring. You're trying to decide who you want to work somewhere. You're not also looking into this happening. Your boss, two of wands, there could be bets being made. Who's going to get hired over? Who's going to? You already, you're an existing coworker. Your boss, you're talking to your boss. You know, you're making bets. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be successful? Six of Swords, next to the Queen of Swords. Somebody needs more something. Could be practice into something that they're doing, some type of work that they're doing. But they're also getting better. But they're also, so they're slowing down. Like this air, like, and then you something, something that they do. This could be the way somebody cooks food. And maybe this energy cooks food. They're more creative at something that they're doing, though. They're more creative. But I guess I'm being descriptive with something, with the queen of coins. This energy is more descriptive with something that they're doing. Your mentality has the king of cups here. Releasing. You are releasing. You're using intuition. But I get manipulation with releasing this energy. This could be a family member or a friend. You're releasing them. But I get they they have been creating a barricade for you. But I'm looking at the two of wands being your instincts. They're also involved with these fire signs creating a barricade for you. This could be your uncle. Wow. I guess somebody doesn't want to see you with a particular person. I said that from before. King of Cups, a good friend, your dad, an uncle, doesn't want to see you with this energy because they're too pretty. This could be like your father may have been, your father may have may have not wanted to be with your mother or what your mother didn't really want to be with your father or something. And you're like, you're using your intuition that your parents may have been set up to meet each other. But it's about class with a king of cups energy being here. Maybe your uncle is sharing that with you, family secret stuff. I guess she didn't really want to be with him. And it could be a conversation you're having with your uncle about your mom. She didn't really want to be with your dad. You're finding these things out. But it happened for their relationship culminated for that. Their relationship came to be for a reason. And they could be expressing this to you. This could be like a situation where an or or oracle chooses, you know, uh, an oracle that you that you channel, that you choose, choose who becomes king and queen or chooses who becomes a married in a family. But maybe they don't, like I said, I was Indian vibe that you like a arranged marriage or something, but it's because of classism or the, because, of, because of the amount of money that somebody was making. If this is not your uncle, you're just talking to this person about this. And again, is that why she did it? Is that why she moved? Is that why this energy moved? You may, deep down inside, you may feel like they're a fool for doing something. But you're also trying to save them from being a fool for, for, for a choice that they made. Money. They're trying to tell you it's because of money. It's because of status. It could also be pertaining to some type of mystic mysticism in a family envi and environment. This is kind of like if you think about Harry Potter, um, I know it's random. If you think about Harry Potter, for example, with the mystic family, you know, um, um, muggles, m m muggles marrying muggles and, and witches marrying witches. And that kind of that's that kind of vibe that this is giving me with the King of Cups. 
Wow. It's about lineage, keeping a particular family lineage alive or something. Blood ties with the King of Cups energy. You're talking about these things? But I get I didn't know that pop. You're saying I didn't know that pop. Your pop it's your dad you're talking to. Or or your uncle or some friend. I didn't know that. I didn't know these things. That's why I'm here. That's why I have these oh shit. Well, I dropped the card. I'm sorry. That's why I'm here. That's why I have these abilities, or that's why someone is 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 the way they are. It's because uh, it's because their their marriage was spiritually channeled to become spiritual channeling to to have a, a marriage uh, uh, to become married or something. If it's you or somebody else you're dealing with, what's changing for you is the nine of coins. Nine of coins, energy. Um, nines are also about wishes, making wishes. This is also pertaining to your finances with this energy. But I also get a great business partner that you're working with a great business partner. It's really, is connected to the queen of coins. And that's what's changing. It's changing because maybe you're making more money now that you're, you're hiring someone or someone's getting hired. But I get over you. Like somebody's becoming hired over you. This could be your energy. Mm, but I get you're trying to, if this is your energy, you're trying to keep up with the game so that someone wouldn't triumph, triumph over you or something, or you're not also looking into this energy is triumph, triumphing over, um, uh, their family or triumphing over uh, another air like energy comparisons are being made. You see this, you see this happening workplace. It's, it's a girlfriend situation here where you're tied to you, you're gel, you're, oh, I can't talk. Your girlfriend or your boyfriend is jealous of this energy, doesn't want you to hang out with them because they're mystic or something. Or you're mystic and your your girlfriend or your boyfriend got tired of that and they split from you because of it. Or they're doing that and, and you're splitting from them. I can't take it anymore. Two at once. Can't take it anymore. They're practicing something on me or this energy here. But when I said that, I get that's why they're this way. That's why they're this way, queen of coins. Hmm. Somebody's hurting inside about something. Could be this person or you, both of you, you're hurting inside. But I get to be with each other. This You and this energy, you're hurting to be with this person. But it'll be okay. Like you're, You could be telling this energy is going to be okay. But you're also asking them why they married somebody or why they're with somebody. Hmm. Or why they chose a job that they're in. This could be like somebody chose a job over the one that you try to give them or something. Five of Swords. But I, when I said that, I didn't I didn't know she liked that kind of work. Can we pretend to the kind of work you're trying to offer somebody? Or it's you that's saying that. Your resolution has a seven of coins. It's all earth-like energy here. Nine of coins, seven of coins. It's kind of interesting to get a nine before a seven, I'm just saying. But it's something returning from the past. I get you, we're gonna you're gonna make a lot of money with an earth sign. That return from the past. That's what it looks like. Or you're gonna be good friends with an earth sign that's returning from the past. We'll be fine. Like you're saying this to an earth sign. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Seven of coins. You use you were using your intuition from the beginning that you can make a lot of money from this person. You knew that, or they would be a good co-worker, but your boss was was being picky. This colorism or something with a boss. Somebody well, didn't want to hire somebody who's dark or something. That's why I said color. She's not even that dark. She's not even She's not even that big. She's not even that whatever. I was getting that from the beginning. Your family choosing a, guy, a, choosing a woman or picking a wife. If it's an Indian family, picking a, it could be an Indian family, picking a, a particular looking wife, a lighter, a, a light wife. Brahmin, they they call the, the, the uh, they call the cast in England Brahmin that, that are lighter. This could be what's going on here. Her nose is thinner. Her butt is bigger. Her skin is lighter. Whatever it is. This energy is kind of like, you know, they could be refusing to change something that's going on with them. Does it have to does it have to be only an example of an Indian marriage? It could be any marriage. Marriage of a business. Your marriage to a person. But I also get you don't understand why the comparisons have to be made. You don't understand why comparisons have to be made in a workplace, in a family. I get we're all the same. Like you're you're saying we're all the same, whatever it means to you. And it could be work ethic. What is what what is it that she's doing that's so interestingly different from this person? What what about her uh, her looks is so interestingly different from mine? Or what what is it about this energy? Some of their soul, their soul is just different. Their soul is beautiful. I was getting an aura. 
something's going on with your aura but it needs cleansing your your aura needs cleansing but it needs cleansing because of a fire sign an x a fire sign x your aura needs to be cleansed before you can enter into this energy first well vice versa that's very interesting though all right let's look for outcome gemini Oh, God. The lover is here. A new partnership with lover's energy. Um, there's excitement here. It could be with this earth-like energy. There's excitement. Uh, new hire. Um, new hire with this kind of feeling or new relationship with the lover's energy. It's not really new. This is an energy from the past. This is what it six cups is here. But I get we should have been together from the start. Like, you were saying that. You were saying that at one point. We should have been together from the start. What took you so long? This energy could be like, what took you so long? Vice versa. You're the one that's saying this. Your coworkers are like, what took your boss so damn long to hire this person? Like, it's talking about skin bleaching. Somebody may have bleached their skin so that they could come back somewhere. And you're like, why did you do this? Queen of coins energy. Why'd you do this? You didn't have to do that. Five of swords is like, she looks totally different. <laughs> like, you don't even look the same. This could be somebody that somebody could have straightened their hair. They could have bleached. You're like, you're fine. You know what you know what that song is? You're fine. Just, I like you just the way you are. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. This is what this reading feels like to me. And that's what you're expressing. All right, Gemini, I'm done. <laughs> Please let me know how it resonates. Take care. Be blessed. Bye.